Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. An in-state battle between Notre Dame and Purdue. The Fighting Irish and the Boilermakers are on the field, finishing up pregame warm-up. The intensity starting to rise. A lot at stake. Not only bragging rights, there's also the battle for the Shillelagh Trophy. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Today, it's the annual battle between two Indiana institutions, Notre Dame and Purdue. Let's head down to the coin toss now, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. From their own 27 yard line, it's second down. Caught out in the open. He goes out of bounds at about the 33 yard line. on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 33. Not much there on the screenplay. This is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He dropped it. Steps out of bounds. Around the 30 yard line. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field at me but the first job of return man is to catch the ball. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He scrambled. He's to the 40. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 46-yard line. That brings him second and five. He dives forward. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. and he's taken down behind the line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Well. 
So it's second and 12. Ball on the 43. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Out of bounds, right around the 32-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. pickup. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws it to the outside. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown, Boilermakers. Tacks on the extra point. So a nine play, 69 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Purdue lines up for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four yard line. They'll bring him down at the 29. The Boilermakers are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's tackled at the 39. That's a deal of 10 he makes it to the 42-yard line. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. Quick pass, and down he goes, around the 40-yard line. They're stopped two yards behind the line. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Zips it to the back. He's at midfield. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. Taylor makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Check like 39. Going long. Brought down around the 19-yard line. The pass was a little bit high, but this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. Run there. That's good for a That brings him second in the Got some open field. Touchdown, Irish.
Here's the call from the referee. Delay of game, offense. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 71-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Tackle at the 25-yard line. <laughs> This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Got it. And he goes down quickly. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Key 15, key 15. Ready. Ah! Now he's scrambling. Good open field tackle. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll make it third and one. From their own 34-yard line, third down. He's going to try and scramble, and he hits him hard at the 26. That's a loss of 80 yards. Fourth down. Jack is back to receive. Jack fields it at the 34. He makes it to the 45-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 34. They make the stop at the 20. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's tackled around the 10-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Slings it out there incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Touchdown, Irish. converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. 
excellent kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's on the run. Diving for extra yardage. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Right and tackled immediately. That makes it second. Six-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackle around the 40-yard line. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. He's at the 30. And he's taken down at the 19-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19. And he throws it away. And this play is number eight on the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 14. And here's another third down. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Touchdown, Boilermakers. Will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Purdue is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on the 24. He's 
tackled at the 33-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. They'll bring him down at the 33. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he is drilled at the 37. He's going to go for the home run. Can't connect. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. From their own 37-yard line. Third down. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Hitman awaits the snap. down at the 43. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Right down around the 46-yard line. Notre Dame will have one timeout remaining. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Tackles him hard at the 38. They come out in a five wide set. He heaves it deep. Incomplete. So they're going to go for it here. Going long. We played a half. 14 apiece. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. These two teams have matched each other blow for blow, just as we anticipated very evenly matched. Hardly any separation to speak of in terms of momentum or yardage gained or anything of that nature. So when you look at it, uh, what can make the difference coming up in the second half? We see so many matchups, Reese, that's big box car, little box car. You know, this is big box car, big box car. And they just keep ramming into each other. And nobody's given an inch. And it's it's great on both sides of the football. And you like what you see. But at some point, I think who's going to give out? You know, who can make a big play, make that big play down the field, make the big touchdown and, and get the other team off balance a little bit? Maybe it is special teams. Maybe it's somebody steps up and blocks a punt or returns a kick and, and gives their team an advantage because right now it's just two heavyweights trading punches and, and both of them still look like they're in pretty good shape. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. He'll return it from the one. 
He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. He scrambled. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. tight end. He's brought down in the open field. From their own 45-yard line. First down. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. From the 49-yard line, third down. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings us fourth and three. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter, and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Throws complete, and he's got space to work, and he hits him hard at the 29. That brings up second and one. Up the middle for a nice game. Call it a game of seven yards. First down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. No chance. Blue 14. It's on the ground. Recovered by the offense. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. From their own 38-yard line, second down. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. And he scores. Touchdown. on the extra point. So a short three-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The score now, 21-14. Notre Dame to kick from his own goal line. He's to the 20, and he just got drilled. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Three down, three down. Check 
Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Brought down in the open field. That brings in second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. He's on the run. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. From the 43 yard line. First down. And they hit him in the backfield. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. He's going to try and scramble. He'll take it himself. Slides down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Fires out to his wideout. That's a great tackle at the 23. the stop the 20 yard line call it a gain of three yards that makes it second and eight second down eight yards to go ball on the 20 yard line and he carries the ball for a nice game that's a game five on the that's three down and one to go Notre Dame's lead is a touchdown We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And he's tackled at the two-yard line. So here we go. First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. Defense and their short yardage packing. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. You knew that that touchdown was going to be won or lost in the trenches. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Cornhuskers took the field ranked 20th in the nation. A lot of skepticism. They have to win impressively to hold their spot in the ranking. The Cornhuskers deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. And for Dorsey, he's caught a pass for a touchdown. Well, it seems like every year we have one of those weekends where there's upset specials, and that one would be an upset. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Harris fields at the goal line. Oh, man, did he take a hit. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Taken down at the 39. And 
and he's taken down at the 41 yard line. to his tight end. Nothing to it. Third and eight. Ball on the 41-yard line. Five wide. Quick throw. Almost intercepted. Brad, I think the big fella was starting to think about his touchdown dance, and he forgot to secure the football. You've got to hold on to the ball, big man, before you start to run with it. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And he's level at the 38-yard line. That brings in second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Three down, three down. Check the running <laughs> Makes it out to about the 46. three-yard line. It's first down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30. Tackle around the 23-yard line. the 23-yard line. First down. Makes it to the 22-yard line. than three minutes in the game. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. That'll make it third down. From the 22-yard line, third down. He's ready to kick this one off. Lewis from the two. 
He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Notre Dame's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Brought down at the 34-yard line. That's good. Just over two minutes in the game. And he tackles him hard at the 41. That makes it first and ten. around the 44-yard line. Call it again at 15 yards. First down. Here we go, D. Hey, it's just, it's, just, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Hey, check my 39. Yeah. Check three, check three, check three. And he's hit immediately. Woo! First down. He's hit and taken down. McCarthy with the tackle at the 21-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Hey, check my 39. Check my 39. Got you, boy. Check, 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 check. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for him. That makes it second and six. From the 17-yard line. Second down. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. It's intercepted, and that should do it. And he is drilled at the 6-yard line. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own six. Purdue is up a score. They'll knock him down for a loss. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. Notre Dame just took their first time out. Makes it out to about the 16. Notre Dame's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Good pickup, and with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. Notre Dame's out of timeouts. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 18. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 28-21, Boilermaker. Kurt, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Purdue came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams.
EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.